Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Sheltered where, unsurprisingly, somebody is at the door. We will respond to Joshua here. He's trading some stuff cheap. We will have a quick look to see what they've got. In the previous episodes, once again, we survived, which tends to be the overall theme of the game in general, obviously, but also um, we're not just surviving, we're actually living now. We have got a fairly decent little bunker here. I say little, it's the biggest we can possibly make it with pretty much everything that we need to have all of the people in a sort of nice... Uh, survival situation. We're just going to get a couple of resources here that perhaps we are running out of. Oh wait, no, because we're not running out of pretty much any resources. In fact, how many relaxants have we got? Uh, probably enough to stop a herd of buffalo. Uh, I don't think we need any more plastic, do we? Not really at all. We'll, also we'll take the mortars because they seem to be a little bit rarer. And we'll take also the lenses, which, uh, oh, we can't actually trade over. Actually, uh, people mentioned we probably not uh, trade the meat over because we're getting food. You actually get canned food off the... Uh, off the, uh, put some water in there as well, off the three of these planters at the bottom which are currently growing and the soil is moist. We do have a quest, if we go over to our map here we can see that down the bottom we have uh, the photo at the medium house but then the target which is down there. So we want to head off to that location probably in the van and sort that one out but obviously we do need at least uh, some people that are good at fighting which is why we'll make sure that we have Things like Daniel here, uh, training on there. And where is our other people? I can't see they're actually behind each other. Yes, they are. So we'll start splitting these up. We'll get her to do some training on that one there. You can see she's actually quite tired, but we will sort that out. In terms of the overall objectives for this one, I mean, for a long time now, I think it has simply been continue on. At the moment, if we go over to take suit here, I think we'll go outside and and go to repair some stuff. We've got like the water filter there, we've got two solar panels, oxygen filter, we've got the van fully upgraded, we've got loads of things upgraded that we can possibly have. So that's going to get uh, fixed over there. Looks like Daniel has increased in strength. We're going to train them up as well and they have actually leveled up. Let's respond to Stephen here. So bunch of stuff that they have. We'll take the circuit board, the transistor, the motors, and we might as well take that as well, and we'll trade over for the privilege um, six food rations and one water, and then we'll say yes to that one there. So as I said, the objective really now is, I mean, we could con we could carry on. We have got 36 minutes, 36 minutes, and Ah, the recycle plant we haven't set going, so we'll have to take that recycling. There's loads of recycling there. Um, we've got loads we can sort of put in the recycling. We've got loads of resources. There's just not a lot that we desperately, desperately need. Blueprints would be quite nice. I'm going to put some of these crowbars in as well because I don't see the point in having loads of those. We can put a gun in, we can put a shotgun in, we can put a rifle in. Could put in things like the flashbangs, but I don't really know. I don't really see what the point is in putting those flashbacks in. Mortars, if we put in. We'll end up getting just wires, but I think we've got decent wiring. The buckets will give us some, uh, yeah, it'll give us some metal, but I don't think we need the metal. And also, quite frankly, at this stage, uh, it's probably good an idea to keep one or two buckets on the go. I'm just going to put in some of these light fittings because we don't need any more lights in here and this will give us wires and the metal. So we'll set the recycling going and at 23 minutes for that there. So we can see that Angela is outside repairing these things. I will say fix on these solar panels as well as we move past it and we'll also say upgrade on this one. So upgrade the oxygen filter. We can upgrade the durability. We can increase the resistance to storms and we can increase the amount of people we have in here but it's already upgraded to the realistically the one that we want. A durability upgrade 4 would be pretty good and we do have the resources for it including the pipe which is not normally something that we uh, have so we'll do that and also we will feed Zeus the horse as well. So it looks like they've uh, been all right here. I'm going to keep training on this bag. Actually you know what I'm doing? I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop training on the bag and say sleep because at this stage we should probably go ahead and make sure that both of the fighters are in a decent shape and uh, ready to go out. The generator may require a little bit of a fix there and hang on, why did you not go? I'll have to say feed the horse and then return the suit. We'll upgrade the generator. You can see we have got the ability to upgrade to a capacity so we will do just that. Uh, it looks like we have the parts to upgrade the system. Yes, that is true. I'm going to just uh, fix that there. What's the health? The well, health is currently on 95, so it's not too much of a problem. There's our oxygen filter on full integrity, and these are upgraded. I don't think we can upgrade that one. We can upgrade it to... Well, we could give it some more durability. We might as well. I might as well. Don't return the suit, but do instead increase the durability of that. 
I've never maxed out any of the durability stuff on any of them. I've just never really seen the need to, especially when you have multiple people in the shelter that are able to do that. How about I hop in there and join you? No, I'm afraid not. I uh, will return that suit. They've finished that there, but I will say for Sandra, you can clean the shelter, please, because we really don't want any muck around there. I'm going to go and get Jeffrey to check down there. Soil is moist and growing, soil is moist and growing, and soil is moist, and what a surprise, it is growing. Uh, we've also got the bag, which you'll probably need a bit of fixing, which I'll sort out now. And I think that will be okay. Looks like Angela's going to go there, and there's that one done. Okay, so I think we will do a setup expedition. Daniel followed by Carol. There are two fighters. We are going to go with the van, and we're going to drive straight to the target, and then straight to the lower person that we have to talk to. We obviously, we'll go through these houses, but that's not too much of a problem. We'll confirm that. So their strength is now 12, so they can successfully use crowbars 11. Uh, yeah, I think we'll give them... Oh, and then strength 16 on the sledgehammer. So I think it's going to be... See, the crowbar is strangely not as good as the hatchet. The hatchet's just better. It is just better. So we'll equip them with that. We'll also equip them with a... We can't equip them with a bag. We will equip them with body armour. And... A... Do I want a motion detector? Not really. Binoculars. And obviously a gas mask. For Carol. Knuckle duster. Gas mask and that and that because we might have something to search. Oh no, storage, storage, body armor first. And I think we'll go with the hacking terminal because I think the place we're going requires that. We will also take five of these first aid kits and. Get there eventually. Three grenades. Send the party. Yes, there we go. And then we'll send them out to the wasteland. We'll not send anyone else out just yet. Oh, also in the previous episode, we managed to get this incinerator. Uh, let me go to add fuel. We now can add up to 3.5 fuel in total to the generator there. So increase storage. And you can see, if we zoom in, there's more stuff there. Oh, looks like someone is at the, the front door. Anthony, so they have stuff they have no use for, and I really have no stuff that I want there, so I'll say no thank you. I'll go to incinerate, and we'll put some resources in this in the items to burn there. You can see we've got nails, and you can actually burn them, and they do have a burn time, which is strange. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Don't know how that works. What if you burn if you burn five relaxants, you get two hours of a nice warm homely fire. I think we're going to be. I mean, if we put things like fuses in, like because we've got so many fuses that we're just not going to use that much of a stack of them. We'll put in three sets of relaxants. We'll put in uh, a big stack of nails. I mean, this is giving us burn time, even though it would take more fuel to actually burn these than they would get back. Although, there you go. Uh, we're not going to burn any anti-radiation meds. We're not going to burn any of this stuff. I mean, plastic. Just fling a just fling a plastic bucket in. Yeah, that's not healthy at all. I wonder if burning sand will give us some stuff. It can't do. Oh, it does. It actually can. Right, let's just dump some sand in there, and we're just getting rid of loads of stuff. And is that is that cordite? Yes, you can actually burn cordite. Can confirm that you can put that in the generator. Yeah, that's that's all kinds of bad. We'll put some lenses in there, which is increasing the burn time once again. We've got some cement, loads of seeds. Uh, we'll put a bit of bark in there, and that should be about. Actually, no, we'll put a put a ratchet in there because we've got more than more than we can have. And incinerate. There we go. And then we'll put that in, and broken wood, and incinerate. And there you go. So that's going to give us a total of uh, 7.9 fuel. And daily use is one. So we've got many days to uh, sort that out. And there's our expedition party going off. So that is fine. Workbench is 100% efficiency. I will tell David to train on the bag. I will tell Martha to stop what she's doing. Because quite frankly, she, you know, there should be treating uh, and resting herself up. I'll say scan frequencies perhaps. Or broadcast. We'll broad broadcast for traders. 
Uh, so some of your plants are ready for harvest. Okay, I will go down and harvest said plants. These on the left and right are both, oh sorry, the right one is moist, but the left one requires some water. There goes the car, do we do have the camera van just off to the left, we just missed it there. But there you are. We also have a laboratory and an ammo press. I mean, we've been through all the stuff we didn't build previously, but we'll have a quick look again just to see if there's anything else we could possibly make. I would like another sentry rifle trap, but sadly, I've used all of the pipe to increase the durability of our systems. We've got a jukebox. There's nothing special that we have there. We've got a coffee machine. We haven't built the wardrobe, but you need burnt clothes for that, and we'd recycle them all, but we weren't interested in changing the look of things. And we also have some paint cans as well, but... Again, a lot of this stuff we just don't need. We could build some camouflage, which gives us a chance to not uh, be detected. But, I mean, day 72, we've always either met with people and traded, or we've been able to successfully run away and even sort of fight off in some some cases. But either way, we'll stick with what we've got for now. Looks like there's some people coming down here. Uh, Richard and... Ronald, maybe? Yes, Ronald. That is fine. There we are. I will water this plant. So the left, middle, and right should be now moist. We will answer this and want to make a deal. Yes, and they have and they have some shotgun shells. They have some valves. They have motors and transistors. And we'll just trade over. It might seem crazy trading over that much food for it, but we've got so much food anyway. And when we harvest this, we get stuff off there as well. Let's water that plant. That should be fine. In terms of water and resources, 49 fuel, 225 water, 139 food, and oxygen is all fine as well. We'll say them to read a book, and we'll also answer that call there. So we found a small house. We will search that location and see what we have there. We also, in previous episode, upgraded the pantry to a large pantry. Oh, well, we actually have three of them now. So that, including the small one, gives us 170 storage. I don't know what we would be able to get maximum for... Uh, let me examine the items from the small house. I don't know what we'd be able to get sort of maximum, really, for... Uh, people inside the shelter. I mean, obviously, you upgrade this. It goes to the next tier upgrade. That's... That's 11 people and then a total of 15 people. But the micromanagement would be so problematic. <laughs> I just don't want to, I just don't want to be dealing with it, quite frankly. Um, the bunk bed does require some repairing, so I will do that. And the recycling plants are also uh, similar. So what I'll do is I'll say fix on that one. I'll get Jeffrey. I don't know where he's going. He's just sort of wandering in that corner to fix, fix. And then I will tell someone to crack in there. Looks like Angela's finished reading there. Um, this is just going to the small house and for whatever reason it had a radio and loads of limestone so maybe it was just a building site and it wasn't a fully completed house. <laughs> Who knows. So with the solar panel and with the incinerator realistically we are going to have uh, no real problem when it comes to fuel although we have got this dust storm on the outside so that's why these are not yet generating so it uh, looks like we a person in need see if we can help them i will approach i think this is actually the person who requested ooh, shelter uh, requested the thing in the first place so let's see so what the hell do you want you got something in your possession i want you're talking about my photograph the photograph of my children i knew it the maniac sent you okay and i will flee i'm not going to do that oh uh, i knew there was something weird about them right forget it so you'd like to see that lunatic and your wise to kill them on sight well, we are heading the way back there, that way anyway, so, I mean, do we really want to do that? I don't know. Either way, I'm going to use... Well, anyone that's not doing anything, I will tell them to uh, use the use the, the bag there. Uh, I'm going to f use Jeffrey to, say, fix those two there. And also, we have some people coming down wanting to trade. And a rabbit that came along and then stopped. I don't know if you saw that. A rabbit came along, stopped. Nope, there it is. It's coming back. <laughs> Let's respond there. This is Kevin. So, they want anything, do we want anything for trade? Uh, we'll take the pipes, certainly. Why not? And we'll take the nails. We will probably take the buckets and the mortars and the rope. And that should be okay for now. And we'll trade over some food for the privilege. And there you go. And that crunch means that uh, we have the trap to harvest, which we'll do just now. I'm guessing we could probably get rid of one of the bunk beds. We don't really need all those. So examining the items at the shelter has yielded actually some decent stuff. 
sorry, I'll, 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 can I qualify and rephrase that? It's yielded some stuff, not decent, but it's yielded some stuff. Stuff that we may be able to use later on. Let me fix that one there. Oh, I'm actually telling them to oh, return that suit. Jeffrey, can you fix that one for me, please? Yeah, that's fine. Um, recycling plant is full, full, uh, full, full, full. Both of them, well, all three, I've got about 30 minutes to go ish. Ish. Uh, the door we can't upgrade because it's fully upgraded. The. Oh, hang on. What's, what position? Uh, I will tell him to fix that actually and then return his suit so something of interest looks to be a person in need so we're going to approach this person in need they're the one that apparently sent us out to get the photograph and if it's the same person do you do have it do you have it show me refuse you have your mind that photograph doesn't belong to you you've let me down you made this a mockery of me i won't forget this so they've now ran off by the sound of it. Let's have a quick look at the map then. And we can see that, yes, they are no longer there. But the shelter, you know, is... So I will actually tell Sandra to stop what they're doing. And by the sound of it, the horse actually needs feeding again. So while he's up there, I will tell him to feed that and then return the suit. And it looks like someone is also coming up. So respond, Joseph. Trade for the right price, yes. And they actually have coal. So I'm going to take that because that is very good in the incinerator I believe so we'll trade over that it's also now started to rain so I'm just gonna put all of the water in there and trade yes job done so feeding the horse putting that back and examine the items from the medium house once again loads of stuff oh we needed a lockpick for that one there all right that's sorted and we don't need to do anything there Angela's pretty much fine so I'm gonna go to scan frequencies then and let them crack on with that one um, looks like Jeffrey is having something to eat. Search the location of the large reservoir. And what they're doing, they're searching through this. This is Dennis searching through all this item bin, which, to be fair, we could take stuff. I mean, <laughs> it's like a free for anyone that wants it type of deal. Let's do a bit more training with David here, simply because we can. But it shouldn't be too much of a problem. We'll also read book with Martha. Another radio transmission. This is some strangers which we'll, we will approach. This is at the large reservoir. So this is on the way back from the... Ooh. Uh, this is on the way back from the little chat. We're in the van here. So, uh, trade. Do they want to trade? Sorry, friend. You've neither the swag nor the swagger to delay me. Okay. That's a fairly horrible looking reservoir. <laughs> So, that's all. I'm doing fine then. And examine the items at the reservoir. Unsurprisingly, it's water. I will actually bring it back because we have no reason not to bring it back at this stage. And we really don't. So, there you are. And shack. Looks like you have some good loot. We'll, we'll search the shack. I'm guessing we're halfway through the forest. Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty much almost on the way back. We could send another party out. Um, it's not unreasonable to to do that, I don't think. So, scanning the radio frequencies has not yet yielded any information. I will tell her to do it again, because why not? There is from the shack. We've got a tyre, we've got water, we've got sand and loads of rocks. I could bring the rocks back and put them in the incinerator, I think, but quite frankly, I don't really want to load the car up with them. And I'm also going to tell David to clean the shelter. I know he's very tired, but once he's finished, he'll uh, crack on there. And I'm just using uh, to read the book. So, increase in strength and increasing intelligence, all using the punching bags in the in the bookcase, respectively. Plants are growing. Soil is moist. No problem there. Don't need to craft any ammo. We got... Oh, our search party coming back because the camper van is now done. Still loads of fuel. We're not even using any fuel fuel. We're just using whatever we put in the incinerator. So that's fine. Um, Jeffrey, I could tell them to do something, but quite frankly, I don't know what... Uh, we really want. There is everybody back, so six locations search. We'll just take everything. We'll also incinerate and go right to the bottom here, and we're going to put in the coal and the matches, and we get 96 hours off that. So really, really good. Oh, no. Oh, we've only got two teddy bears, so of all the things, really, uh, we would probably want to bring those back, if, if anything. If anything. Um, we don't need to put any seeds in. We've got some remedy. I will incinerate all of those. I'm not going to incinerate the stuff down here. I don't think it would be uh, really any great interest. Didn't yield any information, sadly. Let me get Jeffrey to scan for frequencies. So this is going to be the third scan for frequencies there. I just want to 
see if we can uh, find something. I just want to also check the strength on Angela's got good strength. Um, David's got six strength. I know they don't have good strength, but Martha does, so that's fine. Don't need to clean up anything as well, although after three people have used the stove, yet we do need to clean the shelter, and I think someone is about to get food poisoning. Yep, there we go, straight away, Carol. Um, <laughs> every time, Carol. Let's see if I can click on Carol, but it's so zoomed in. Uh, no. Hang on, looks like some plants are ready to harvest. Let's harvest said plants. And I'm trying to select Carol. There we go, Carol. So please use the homemade remedy. And for the third time in a row, scanning frequencies has not yielded any information, sadly. That is a bit of a shame. We're going to go to Setup Expedition, and we'll take different people this time. We're going to take um, David and um, Angela or Martha. Hmm. They are currently doing that. I'm gonna let me double check the strength. Strength is seven and water plant. I think it's Martha. But Martha's currently sleeping. Yeah, Martha. Okay. Set up expedition. Martha and David. And we there's all different places we can go. But there's a lot of places out here that we haven't been in quite some time. So the mine, the shack, the restaurant. Recycling center, mountain pass, the farm, the mystery hatch, there's no point because we don't have the code, and we can come back that way. Cycle over to the van, obviously. We are going to use petrol, so I'm hoping we're going to find some more. We'll confirm that. For Martha with strength 7, we will take the... Ooh, we'll probably take the baseball bat. Yes, we'll equip that. Followed by, obviously, the gas mask. We will take a prospector's kit because we're going into the mine and the metal detector. For David we'll equip, because he's only strength 7, sadly... Oh, a knife! I've we'll, yeah, got a kitchen knife there. We'll also give him the gas mask followed by the lockpick and a and a hacking terminal and then we'll send the party and they'll be off into the wasteland. I'm going to get Ryan here to read a book, and we also need to harvest some plants. That soil is moist, that soil is dry, we'll have to water that plant. So we're getting, every time we harvest this, you see we're getting seeds, we're getting flowers, and we're getting food off it as well. And the advantage is, it comes in tins. So, yeah, there we are. Let's go over to scan frequencies. Again, we're just trying to find anything else on the map. We're going to water that plant there. But... So we have the parts to upgrade a system. Upgrade. What can we upgrade? We can upgrade the durability of the generator. Or oh, actually the capacity. Let's get capacity upgrade because why not? And Oh, that didn't seem to be a nice noise. No, no, it wasn't a nice noise at all. Um, right, so take a suit and harvest the trap. We'll probably have to, by the time we get out there, feed the, uh, feed the horse. So it looks like she's upgrading the generator. Wow. I do like the way that all of the... Oh, there's the car. <laughs> Couldn't put a new side window in, though. Eh? Or even just a border across it just to stop the wind and stuff blowing in. Scanning radio frequencies once again has not yielded any information. Uh, Sandra has upgraded the generator and will upgrade it. That's the capacity upgrade level 4, so it should be able to store 4 now. And it can... Yes, it can store a total fuel of 4. But we've currently got 3.4 in there because we also have 11.3 fuel a day and we're only using one. And that's not accounting for when this thing's on the go as well. So basically, it's pretty good. Small petrol station, which we will search the location of because, well, quite frankly, we want to get that done. We have Ryan here who's not got much to do, but nothing much to do inside the shelter. Although I fear that, yes, fixing these toilets and stuff is... Probably the way forward there. So this is the small petrol station which naturally has give us petrol. Now I'm I'm having to take that more than previously because we haven't we were using that petrol in the van. So anything for trade, they have ooh, pipes and I'll take the fuel. And I might as well take some batteries and some duct tape and actually I'll put the batteries back, I don't think we need that. And there we go. So a job done. Ryan, you can train a bit more. And there you go. You can see we've got like more 
bits done in the generator. Let's... Ah, we've got a problem here. We've been ambushed. We could really do with some advice right now. Or to resolve or deal with it. Well, I'm going to deal with the ambush. So, first time we've had an ambush situation, I would personally just absolutely fl... Ah, it's him. I needed that photo. You ruined everything. So, he is trying to... This is Harold here. And, quite frankly, I... I'm going to just melee. Um... Yeah, it's, it's not something I wanted to do this, and I don't know whether this is... Oh, countered. Ow, got a rocks to the face there. And once again, coming up and... Ow, doing a lot of damage. And this is Martha on very low health. Let's see if we can finish him off before, really, yeah, the, the worst happens. That is Harold dead. We're not going to take the rock he nearly killed Martha with, but we'll take his old radio and call, and we'll confirm that. And there's a victory, but at what cost? Martha is almost dead, and we didn't take any medical equipment with us. Let me go and view the map, but I don't think we've got anything on them, no. I could say bring them back, but hopefully we'll not run into anything untoward. The fact that he managed to get from this house all the way up there in a day without a van is pretty good. As I said, I would just have flawed the van and see you later. <laughs> I don't think he can run as fast as this. He's not a roadrunner. So, yeah. Anyway, that's how it is. Let me go to upgrade. We can increase the durability. So I will make take the suit and upgrade the durability of the water filter. And there's the horse as well. So we might as well feed the horse and then upgrade the durability. So we've got some in the mine. I will approach the strangers. This is not an ambush. This is an approach. I think that is the first ambush that we have experienced. Not the first combat situation by far, but certainly the first ambush. Hey, is that your blood? Um, trade? They are... Well, food's the only thing that matters in these times, apparently. Well, we don't have anything on us. So there we are. So keep on training. Keep on reading books and fighting, examine the items for the mine, prospector's kit has given us some extra resources, I'll just take the lot, obviously we're bringing rocks back but we have 72 storage, it doesn't calculate fuel use and yield or anything like that, so that's uh, some importance there, uh, search location to small shack, a lot of these places that we've been, we've not actually been in quite some time, over 30 days, I think it is. We're also going to scan for some frequencies. And why did you not upgrade? I said upgrade to the tier 2. The horse is now fed, which is fine. There you go. Status is fine. Examine the items from the shack. And again, not too much of an interesting find. We've got a mannequin leg, you know. Probably recycle that. Speaking of recycling, 24 minutes, 24 minutes, and 11 minutes. We will check percentages wise. Efficient shower and efficient toilet. Both of which I think are the most repaired items because they're the most used. So it looks like Ryan has finished. And they've got intelligence 10, so they can actually craft things like homemade antidepressant, homemade anti radiation tablet. We're trying to get ginger root, but when you plant, you just plant seeds. You don't choose what it uh what it is which is a bit of a shame there's a uh, water filter upgraded we can actually get uh, the next tier do i want to do that i don't i do want to do that i do upgrade let's get the next durability upgrade so s someone's at the restaurant i think we haven't been here in over 30 29 days it was 29 between 29 and 31 and this was called al's but it's yeah, this person's wanting to trade. I do want that teddy bear. We'll trade for the, te for the teddy bear. An empty water bottle. A soap and a mannequin leg. Oh, we need one more. Uh, a rock. In fact, you know what? We're going to be generous. We'll give them all the rocks. And there you go. I knew you were going to rip me off from the moment I saw you. These are desperate times. Sometimes you just need to have something next to one. What? I, I didn't rip you off. You got loads of stuff. You give me a teddy bear, I give you loads of rocks. That's a good trade, right? <laughs> uh, not really, no. Looks like Carol and Jeffrey are having a little chat there. And this is, oh, another, well, this is the restaurant. We'll take absolutely everything apart from that carrier bag. Actually, no, I'll take the carrier bag. Why not? We can always trade it off. I mean, while they're all standing around the jukebox, we'll be rude not to. I'm in the west again. I'm 
and sadly we can't upgrade to the maximum durability. Or up resilience of the other stuff. Shame. And there we go. <laughs> By the way, plays a. Uh, oh, continues with his random music. Hang on, what we're we gonna get next? Not very transmission. Uh, Somewhere in the recycling centre, we will approach them. Recycling centre. We're the recycling centre. We've got three of the best recycling plants you can get, and that looks like an old mill type thing to me. There. Right. So trade. This is with Jerry. Do you really want to insult me with such a crude sales pitch? I d didn't think we were being rude, but there you go. Let's play some music and have a coffee. There's the recycling centre. Loads of stuff. All of it garbage, as you might imagine. It is a recycling centre, so, you know, it's on point. that <laughs> so how we're doing for the map we've got mountain pass searching then the small farm and then back home and then back home we're on day 74 Sam Knight was from Mountain Pass Proctus, Pro Pros prospectors kit has yielded some nice items and also a lot of flowers and such that we can hopefully use to make stuff but i don't i don't know if there was any ginger root in that one um no saint john's wart and jasmine and uh, things like that but no 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 saint john's wart what do i have in terms of ammo and such just in case someone does try to break in we have pretty much everything we need loads of pistol ammo rifle and if anything a shotgun ammo is the only thing that we realistically need to make. And even then. Even then. I don't know if we need to make it. Can we make another... No, if we have some more pipes we can build another sentry rifle trap. We can make another shotgun trap if need be. Why not? Why not? We can put another one up there. There's rain on the surface. Once again, scanning frequency is the other nothing. The farm, is <laughs> the farm has given us a shotgun. So the shotgun we've just used to build another shotgun trap, we've just got back. Just checking the farms down the planters down the bottom there. But yeah, this coming up to 75, 41 petrol. We're only using that, really, when we're the vans out and about. We've got 10 days remaining on the incinerator and another 3 in the generator. So with the fuel we've got, we could easily get to over 110 days, probably. Uh, I would assume. Certainly 100 um, with the fuel we've got and such. Um, in fact, no, it's, if it's... How much is it? If it's fuel per day, 1, and we've got 41 fuel, and we've already got 10, 13 days... Assuming we never go out in the camper van ever again, we're well over the 100 mark. Well over. Uh, 303 and increasing water, 148 food, which is obviously split up between all different things. Uh, mainly the meat that we get from the trap, which we don't actually have, so I should probably take a suit and then craft another one of those because it did break and I will place it there. Um, and yeah, survival, defence... Security. I'm not going to say happiness. We don't necessarily know that. But certainly, overall, a decent one. She's got an infection. I will take a uh, first aid pack and I'll take antibiotics. So, this is Martha, who is very badly hurt. So, we will take, let's say, the first aid kit to increase her health. Antibiotics. Uh, Feeling okay. There you go. The antibiotics have actually kicked in and worked. So that's good. That's good. And now she's on full health. Naturally, she has got a lot of needs that we have to take care of. But I'm not really too sure what else is really strictly necessary. Uh, scan frequencies. Plant see fertilizer seeds. Craft item. Can we create another sentry rifle trap? 
We only need five more, sorry, ten more pipes and we can craft that because we need a motion detector. I've already pre-built that. So another sentry rifle trap we can actually put in. But, realistically, are we going to? I am probably not going to do that. The reason being that, and I think I've mentioned this last episode. Oh, it seems like the horse does require tending. That we started this off with the objective that we wanted to get to day 50. Day 50 being we've now survived the raid. We're on day 75. Well, 74 and getting close to 75. Um, that raid didn't happen. By the time the raid happened, we already had the sentry rifle trap, we already had the shotgun trap, and we already had the early warning system. The CCTV system kicked in, and then nothing turned up. Since then, we've dug to, well, one, two, three levels down, completely painted it. We have excellent water storage, excellent item storage, excellent repair, good skills across the board, fully built the camper van, and upgraded almost to the max pretty much everything that we possibly can. We've also built the best of everything that we can possibly get in the game, and we've also got a lot of medicine, food, resources, etc. Scanning the frequencies which I've done throughout this entire episode, as much as I can, has yielded no extra results. We do have that um, trader's turf there. We could go and trade and stuff and blah, blah, but realistically, there's no extra events that we would, well, that we're going to see. You can... Uh, get ambushed. Uh, people have mentioned that in the comments. You also, there's been bandits that you can go on different raids and things like that. We haven't experienced them and it is just a case of time in order to get that. But the actual challenge and art of survival we've cracked, I think, quite successfully. We could bring more people into the shelter. That also requires more micromanagement and blah blah blah. So I think, long story short, I was going to perhaps suggest going to day 100 and maybe see off another raid. But... I'm not convinced that that would yield anything more of great interest for you and me. And I'd rather leave the series on what I think is quite a good state and a high than have it trundle off into mediocrity where we're just waiting for the days to go by and then people come up and get absolutely annihilated by a sentry rifle trap because by the time we've probably recycled half of the planet and we can build a Challenger 2 tank in here. Other armoured fighting vehicles also are available naturally. Either way, I think we will for now leave the series there and leave the generics and family and the several of the people that have joined obviously uh sandra jeffrey daniel and sorry to disturb but where is she there carol original generics and family and obviously zeus after that in no particular order angela ryan david and martha Good, we have done quite well. We're going to leave it there for now, for this episode, and indeed this survival series. have very much enjoyed the entire thing overall. I thought also at the time of recording it's been probably quite apt and in the right place, and we're not going to be able to leave, we're not going to be able to leave the series when it's dirty. Let's get that cleaned up. Um, I'm very much up for returning to this at a later date. The save's not going anywhere. We can always jump back on the series if need be. Although, we could also start again, brand new shelter, harder difficulty, do the challenges, all that's an option. Either way, we're going to leave it there for now. Hope you've enjoyed this video and this series overall. Thank you very much for watching. If you have been, take care and generic partings.